This is the High School Coaches Spotlight brought to you by Kelly Burt Dozer. And today we're visiting with A&M Consolidated Head Girls Basketball Coach Karen Hines. Coach, thanks for joining us today. I want to start by getting to know just a little bit more about you. Where are you from originally? Conroe, Texas. Conroe, Texas. Okay, so not far down the road. Now, how long have you been a head coach at A&M Consolidated? This is my sixth season at A&M Consolidated, and I've been a head coach for 27 years, 26 years, somewhere in that area. Looking back, when did you decide that you wanted to be a coach? Oh, gosh, I think I was probably um, a senior in high school, uh, maybe a junior. I played for a lady named Marsha Porter, who is uh, just uh, pretty infamous and famous in the state of Texas. Um, she was at Conroe High School her entire career. But she, we were talking about that as coaches talk with players about career counseling things. And uh, I said, I just don't want to do it. I might want to be a vet because I worked at a vet. And she goes, well, um, in her very Marsha Porter style, she said, well, do you, uh, do you like to get paid in the summer and not work? I said, oh, yes, ma'am. She said, well, do you like to work with kids? I said, oh, yes, ma'am. She goes, do you like to wear shorts to work? And I said, yes, ma'am. She goes, you need to be a, you need to be a coach. Those are, said, all, those are all great factors to think about. <laughs> so she kind of uh, helped with that decision and coupled with the fact that when I started a and I had 18 hours of science and uh, just couldn't seem to pass that chemistry with a high enough grade. So um, that definitely had me changing my major from – Uh, veterinary medicine into um, health and physical education. So you went to Texas A&M, and then after you graduated, take us down the road of your coaching career. What pit stops did you make before calling College Station your home again? Okay. Um, Well, actually, I only spent one year at A&M. I ended up graduating from Baylor with two degrees, with uh, a bachelor's and a master's. But uh, I went back uh, my first year to um, Conroe, and Marsha Porter, again, the same coach, you know, suggested, she said, if you can coach in junior high, you can coach anywhere. So I came back and I worked for her in her junior high at Travis Junior High. And I also had the opportunity to try out for a team called the Houston Angels, which was the first women's professional team. So I actually got to coach and still play. And uh, that was so much fun. And, uh, a little group of girls called uh, Allenbacher's Angels, my little seventh graders that come to all our games. It was really fun At, for a 21-year-old. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, then from there, I went into Houston uh, to teach PE because I couldn't continue to commute and play basketball in Houston at the same time. So I went back got my master's in 81, and then I got my first head coaching job at Giddings, Texas. And uh, at the ripe old age of, I think I was 24, and uh, just stayed there nine years. And uh, then we came back to Conroe, taught in the junior high. Uh, we had two young sons in uh, the head coaching thing. When we moved back to Conroe, we lost our family support group and spent, I think, nine years in the junior high. And then I interviewed and got the job at the Woodlands, spent 10 years there, Um when they split that school, I didn't want to be a part of that at all. Uh, and so I went back to coach the daughters of the girls I coached in Giddings uh, the first time around, and that was an incredible experience, so much fun. Those kids ended up going on to the state tournament. Um, I left there and went to um, North Zulch. Uh, my mother had become very, very ill, and I took the first job I could find within 50 miles of our home and Dobbin, Texas, and they were very good to me at North Schultz. Um Very compassionate, uh, had a lot of fun there. Uh, and then my friend Sue Betts, who's our assistant uh, student activities director, um, coached against Sue for 20 years. Um, she called and wanted to know if I'd be interested in coming over to Consol, and uh, certainly uh, jumped at that opportunity. Um, such a great program that she built and Nelda continued, and then I got to follow right in and uh, in here for six years. This is the High School Coaches Spotlight brought to you by Kelly Burt Dozer, and we're visiting with Karen Hines from Consol Girls Basketball. Coach, you've mentioned that you've kind of seen it all. What would you say is the toughest part of your job? I think right now, I think it's changed over the decades. Back when I first started at Giddings, 
I was just recanting this story earlier um, uh, today. You you drove a bus route five thirty in the morning. You taught all day, and then you coached three teams: freshman, JV, and varsity. And then you drove the bus back home, and you started it all over again. Of course, at twenty four, that's a lot easier than it is at fifty nine. But uh, so then that just the, the whole time thing, and again with a young family, uh, that was um, difficult. I think. Um, today, just, you know, trying to help our kids realize, you know, that best effort, best citizenship, um, you know, being a great teammate, that's something that will last you forever. And we have really good kids at Consult. I mean, we have top-notch people, kids, humans, uh, with values and morals. And, And I think in today's coaching, you know, we don't... You know, you see, even girls, this is finally gotten the girls' game where, you know, people act out, they question the officials' calls, you know, they back talk. We don't have that. Um, you know, our expectations are pretty clear. So I guess managing that side of the student athlete, you know, people talk about the millennium athlete. Well, I'm a non millennium coach. And so I think there's a lot of compromise in kind of choosing your battles and continuing to you know, teach life lessons um, and at the same time motivating them to to be the best that, you know, they can be. But uh, kids are always kids and kids are always wonderful. You can always find something good in a kid, always. And you talked a little bit about having some of the top-notch kids at your school. I want to talk a little bit about your school. Why do you love being a Tiger? Why do you love coaching at A&M Consolidated? I think our spirit is just, uh, and our resolve, and uh, I love the fact that we're, you know, um, we've got um, in a very high intellectual community. We have great athletes. Again, we have these great humans. I mean, these are kids. Like, I'm walking to the car yesterday with my hands full of uniforms to take home to wash, and I had four kids at 5.15, 5.30 stop and say, Coach, do you need help with that? Can I get the car for you? I mean, great things like that may not be important to some people, but it is important. Obviously, their parents have done a a great job teaching them. You know, I think that we're in a a school where we have all kinds of kids, and we have all kinds of kids that come from different backgrounds and who who just really bust their behinds to be be the best thing to be. Our kids are polite. Um, every, every, just about every kid you walk into, it's yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. They, you know, it's, it's a good environment. I think we have good support here. Um, I think that anytime we have something, we can go to our principal, we can go to our athletic directors, and, and we know we're going to be supported, and that's important. Uh, you know, our deal with, um, at Consol, and it's always been this way from when I was hired to, good Lord knows how long back, is, you know, you can, you got to be good to kids. If you're good to kids, you know, I think you have a great deal of support here at Consol, and that's, you know, one of those things that everybody who works here knows that, and, and, and they are. This is the High School Coaches Spotlight, and we're visiting with the head coach for a Consolidated Girls Basketball, Coach Karen Heinz. And, Coach, I want to talk a little bit about this year's team. Every year, the identity of a team changes a little. What would you say is your team's identity this year? I think just we're – we've got experience. Uh, I think we still, up until about a couple weeks ago, we're still kind of trying to identify ourselves as a group. And I think what has evolved throughout this year is that, you know, we're just, we're Consol. We are Consol. Whatever Consol means, the relentless, relentlessness, the pride, the fact that we're going to take care of each other, um, there, we've, I mean, we've, we've had some, you know, some tough losses. Some losses where maybe we didn't play very well. Um, nobody unhitched their wagon. Nobody fussed at somebody else. You know, we just said, okay, this is what we need to do. And we get back to work the next day, and that's real life. That is real life. So our kids are extremely uh, realistic, and I think they work for each other. We have kids, Jaquan Davis, for example, she averages around six or eight points per game, but the things that she does as far as setting picks, playing defense, talking, calling the offensive plays out of bounds because she's got a loud, you know, a loud voice. 
She does a lot of the dirty work, what I call the dirty work in basketball, and might not get all of the credit or the accolades for that. We've got many kids like that. Um, Lydia Garcia um, on our starting lineup. I mean, Jamera and Alexis and uh, AJ, they do all those kinds of things. Demer, you know, she does a lot of... So they work for each other. And they know at the end of the day that it's important to do your best. It's important to play for your teammate. It's still a basketball game. It's not life or death. Um, and I think they have a, a realistic view of that and their relationship to their team. And obviously as a head coach for a varsity team, that's your focus. But you have to pay attention to the program as a whole. From, you know, the coaches to the players to the fans, kind of why is this Lady Tiger basketball program so special? Again, I think that our kids take care of each other, and, and we've retained um, a lot of kids from, from year to year. In other words, our eighth graders come on and the ninth graders. You know, this school split with College Station. You know, that hurt everybody's mm-hmm. numbers. But the kids that we have in our program understand our expectations, which are, you know, to be a good teammate, to be a great citizen, to be a good student athlete. You know, yes, ma'am or no, ma'am are pretty much the answers that, that we expect from our kids. If we need to discuss something, we can, um, that they're going to work hard, uh, that they're going to be here, um, that they're going to be respectful. Um, I think kids want to be a I, – I truly think most people, majority of people walking around like structure. We have structure, um, and we have expectations, and, and many programs have that. Um, you know, we're not – Especially, we share a lot of athletes. Our kids know that that if they want to do three or four sports, they can. Um, I think we do have good junior high uh, feeder programs. I think we have good people at our intermediate school that feeds us, and those people do not get enough credit whatsoever because they that's where they're they're hooked. Hey, you're gonna you're gonna be a basketball volleyball. Right. Player can saw it's a great program and high energy people, positive people, people that you know don't at middle school or intermediate say, "Hey, you're never going to need much choice." And we don't have that, and I think that's very beneficial. My staff have a great relationship with all the kids. We go to the junior high games. I get to go to junior high practices. Um, so there's just a lot of you know are able to keep this program going. And when I leave here, it will continue on because I think the the, the groundwork has certainly been laid. So it's not, you know, it's just absolutely not about me. Well, Coach Hines, today was about you. Thank you for being today's high school coach's spotlight and best of luck with the rest of your season. Okay, Chelsea. Thank you so much.